One of the things that will happen with watercolors is you'll tend to overwork the piece and it will turn to mud. And one of the reasons that happens is you get really focused on a piece and, and you're, you're working on it and you're working on it and something goes wrong and you try and fix it, you can't fix it, that's the time that you want to leave. You want to walk away, you want to put that painting aside. So one of the ways that I keep my colors vibrant and I keep my paintings crisp and clean is I work on a number of paintings at the same time. So as an example, we have this piece here, which has one to two layers of colors on it. And when I get to the point that I'm tired of working on this piece, I can go and work on some more. And I have some other pieces that I have started. This is a little cattle drive piece here. And you can see there's a few more layers on that. And if I get tired of working on that piece, or maybe I run into a problem that I can't quite fix, I'll set that piece aside and I'll move on to another one. And that's in a little different stage of development. On this one, I might get to the point where I'm tired of working on the horse hair, so I'll move on to another piece. So I'm still painting, I'm still creative, but I'm not muddying up my piece by overworking it. So get a few pieces started. When you get tired of one, move on to the other one. They'll all be finished probably at the same time, and all of a sudden you'll have five or six brand new paintings.